what we're looking at here is a live 3D teleconference between, I guess, just was Magnus Lang and uh, now myself, Paul DeBevick, with Andrew Jones here on our holographic 3D teleconferencing display. The way that this thing is working is it's actually putting a three-dimensional image of Andrew uh, right before our very eyes that's being captured live and then shown in 3D to all different points of view over here. And the way that it works is that we're actually projecting high-speed video of all different, different viewpoints of Andrew onto a spinning display surface. So if I show you, this is uh, basically a replica of the mirror that's inside the device, and it's spinning at 15 times per second. So since it's got two sides, we actually get 30 passes of the mirror uh, by you uh, every second. And as the mirror comes by, this modified regular video projector uh, is showing all different viewpoints of Andrew's face, starting from all the way on the side over here, if you bring the video around, you should be able to see Andrew from over here. And then if you walk around to this side, we can see Andrew. And uh, this three-dimensional image is produced um, basically so that you get a different view to every person around the device as well as to the left eye and right eye. By the time the mirror reflects an image to somebody's left eye and then moves to the right eye, the uh, NVIDIA card is already showing a new view to the person's left eye. So if we come over here to where Andrew is sitting, we'll show how he's actually getting it. Yeah. So Andrew, how are you? Good. Very good. Um, Andrew's sitting here and he actually has a special pattern of striped light on his face. It's actually changing the image that's being projected on him at 120 frames per second from this other high-speed video projector. And then these two video cameras here are shooting the way that his face appears from a slightly different point of view as these patterns drape over his face. And you can see over here, if you take a look at, for example, just this black line going down his face, this helps him center him in the viewpoint. You can see that the shape of the line changes as it goes through all the different depths of the contour of his face. Well, with the other patterns that are being shot, which have stripes going across the entire face, the computer can reconstruct the three-dimensional shape of him at 30 times per second. And then by texture mapping that geometry, you're able to have a 3D geometric model that updates at the standard frame rate of video. Now, when Andrew looks at the rest of the screen here, he's actually seeing the rest of the exhibit hall. And that's where, if I go and stand over there, you should be able to see uh, me talking to Andrew. Andrew can actually see when we're having our 